G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at May 11th, uh, 2025's Alphabet Soup by Clover. Clover's one of our Sazeric Gas HQ, so my name is Bill Murphy. G'day. Uh, how are you all doing? Um, I don't know why this demo today was called Alphabet Soup. Um, in fact, I haven't even done this one. Uh, but, um, yeah. There's something I was going to say here. Um, does anyone want to come around to my place and play the Ox campaign? Is that a weird question? That's a weird question. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Uh, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. Uh, you will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You'll also find hat times. Two hats for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. Everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Now, I've... Uh, like I said, I haven't actually solved this one, but I'm going to do this no pencil marks. That's the challenge I'm throwing out to myself today. Pardon me, I'm about to cough. <laughs> Alright, so this is a thermo sudoku. Uh, normal sudoku rules apply, so that's each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits 1 to 9 once each. Now... Uh, digits along each thermometer must increase starting from the bulb. So this could just be five, six, seven, eight. That is actually what it is, but, um, I'll prove that I know what that is in a second. Um, uh, now, uh, yeah, that being said, let's get into it. All right. So I am going to try and do this one. No pencil marks. So, uh, because I feel like this would be infinitely easy and like a 90 second solve if I like use conflict tracking or pencil marks and stuff. So in box one, where does nine go? Nine can only go at the end of a thermometer because how else would we increase from it? And because I have a nine here, it means nine can't go there. So nine has to go here. And this is five, six, seven, eight. My boot, oh, I can't say that. Cause I can't say that. Uh, I nearly sung it though. Trust me when I say it, I nearly sung it. All right, so. Um, I want my quest to do no pencil marks today. Where does four go in column seven? Four has to go here. Now, uh, that leaves one, two, three, and five to place. This is going to get, I've just noticed this is going to get way harder, uh, the second I, uh, try and do, like, the rest of these boxes. But, let's do it. Um, okay, so, in this box, where does nine go? Uh, nine can't go there in box nine, so the only place it can go is there. Now, where does eight go? Eight, oh, actually, no, where does six go? Six is a much easier question. Six has to go here. Now, we need to place two digits between six and nine, so this is a seven and an eight. This has to be a five. Uh, now, uh, is there an easy way to do this one? Uh, so I need to place one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm still, oh, okay. Uh, five can't go on the end of this thermo, which means that the only way I could have four digits along it is if it goes four, three, two, and one. So that becomes a five. All right, now, I promised myself no pencil marks. All right, uh, can I get away with some quick uh, wins immediately? That's a nine and that's an eight. Um, all right. Uh, four and eight along here, three, five, ooh, three, five, three, five, and six is very interesting. Uh, that does give me some digits. If this is a three, five, and six, how can seven ever be on this thermo? Because it has to be seven, then eight, then nine. So this has to be a seven, and now this is one and two. Uh, I don't quite know what that is just yet. We'll get there. But I do know bouncing back up. One can't go in this cell, so one has to go there. Uh, two, this has to be, oh, that's also very interesting. Uh, where does two go? Uh, two has to go there. So now this is a four, six pair. Four and six go like that. The only digit I can place in this box is three and five. Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, three, five, and six, Three can only go in that cell, uh, in uh, row eight, column five, uh, which means three definitely can't go there unless they've somehow managed to uh, 
Clovis somehow managed to figure out how to put decimal points into a Sudoku. Um, and now this is a 5-6, which means I can solve that because this is a Thermo Sudoku. Uh, 4 goes here and 8 goes here. Alright. 5, 6, and 7 is very interesting. Um, why is that interesting? It forces this to be 8. Because this is 1 and 2, so how do 5 and 6 come after... Uh, how does 1 or 2 come after 5 or 6? Uh, this is 3, 9, 1 and 2, 5, 6, 7. Alright. 2, 6, 8. Uh, 1, 7, 9. Boy, 3 and 5. Okay. Where does 4 go in this box? Let's just do that. Uh, where does 8 go? It's going to go in one of those cells. That's not super helpful. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I swear. I swear. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let's try. It. Let's try it one more time. All right. Two, six, and eight. Uh, see. If that's six. That's two. That's fine. All right. I refuse to give in. I refuse to give in. I don't care if this video takes all night. Uh, where does one go? One has to go in one of those two cells. One of those ones. And one of no, that's not super helpful. Alright. What is the lowest this... Okay. Uh, seven... What's the highest this could be? This is either 1, 2, 6, 7. Oh, no, I've got it. Okay. Where does 8 go in box 4? Uh, 8 can't go in any of these cells, and because uh, 8 would need to have 2 digits after it if it went there, that's 8 and that's 9. Uh, okay. Uh, now, this is 1 and 7. Well, that can't be 7. That's gonna be... That's gonna be a 1. Wait, no. That's gonna be 7. That's gonna be 1. Now, 1 has to go here. Uh, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. Uh, oh, 2 is gonna unwind this. So that's 2 and 6. Uh, 3 and 5... Uh, three, five, seven. Okay, let's do the digits that we already have a bunch of in the middle. Ones is that. That's a five. Is that helpful? Maybe. Oh, uh, th that no, that is not helpful. All right. Uh, six, six and seven. Uh, that's a three because we have the eight and the nine here. Eight is gonna do this. That's a lot better. Uh, now that's a six and a three, nine, uh, five and seven, five and three. Woo! Yeah, I could have bashed my way through that one. I just didn't need to. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to just prove that sometimes we don't need pentamark thermos into oblivion. Um, all right, uh, that's been Alphabet Soup by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are, Lord, I hope you have a amazing rest of your day. And I will catch you next time. Cheers.